Hi, my name is Alderin Ordell, and I'm the owner of WaterForLifeUSA.com. We are the exclusive distributors for EOS water ionizers, so if you want to take a look at our selection, please visit us at www.WaterForLifeUSA.com. Today we're going to be talking about distilled water and some of the pH concerns that we have about distilled water. Now, if you've been reading health magazines and the newspapers, you know that health experts have been telling us to lower the acid level in our bodies by being careful what we eat and what we drink. And it's for good reason, too, because too much acid in the body can lead to some pretty serious health problems. It's curious, then, that a so-called health product has arrived in recent years that appears to go against this advice. And this is what the distilled water pH debate centers around. Are distilled water products actually bad for you because they fall on the wrong end of the pH scale? Let's take a closer look. So what are the distilled water pH concerns? First of all, it's helpful to explain that distilled water in the context of the health industry also includes bottled products going by the name of zero water as well as pure water. And it also means products and home appliances that create these types of water, such as distillation machines and even reverse osmosis filters. What all these water filters and bottled waters have in common is a process that at their center, proponents say creates a product that is beneficial to our health if consumed regularly. This process is called, surprise, surprise, distillation, but it can be also called reverse osmosis. The distillation process is very straightforward. Water is heated to boiling so that the water vapor rises to a condenser. In the condenser, cooling water lowers the temperature so that the vapor can be condensed, collected, and stored. The health benefits derive from the fact that most contaminants stay behind in what is called the liquid phase vessel, leaving the water that is produced pure and untainted. So what are the distilled water pH concerns then, you may ask? The answer is this. Distillation leads to a water product that is, in fact, acidic. So why is distilled water pH acidic? While distillation removes contaminants from tap water, it also removes stuff in the water that is good for us, too. Substances that are nourishing to humans, like minerals, get taken out of the water as well as all the bad stuff. It is the removing of these minerals that has the effect of making distilled water acidic precisely what health experts recommend we avoid. Because distilled water is free of dissolved minerals, it does have the property of being able to actively absorb toxic substances from the body and eliminate them. And this gives this type of water one type of benefit as a drinking water, albeit on a temporary basis. Studies show that drinking zero water can help cleanse or detoxify the system for short periods of time. But consuming zero water for longer than just short periods and the health risks with plunging your body into an acid state rear their ugly head. One of the reasons we are being advised to drink healthy water is because we are consuming too many acidic foods, like burgers and sodas and just meat in general. So the last thing you want to be doing is putting an acidic water down your throat in the misguided assumption that you're doing good. Knowing how distilled water pH levels can be very acidic on the scale, this is obviously very far from the truth if you drink this, those water over a sustained period. And you don't want to be doing that, as consuming too much acid beverages or foods tips your body balance out of kilter. If you put too much acid in your body, either from drinking distilled water or consuming too much meat or soda or other acidic foods, you're going to leave your body trying to fight an acid tide and it's your body's not going to be able to fight it all you're going to get this buildup of acid in your body that experts call acidosis and acidosis is one of the leading causes of most diseases and health problems that we face and some of these diseases are like heart disease osteoporosis and poor metabolism digestion poor energy levels poor sleep patterns and even anxiety and depression so you don't want to be putting yourself at risk for all of these illnesses and diseases by drinking water. You want water to offer good things for your body, like alkaline minerals and antioxidants. And the only way to get antioxidants back in your water is through an EOS water ionizer. All things considered, I wouldn't recommend drinking distilled water at all. 
if you're looking for the healthiest and most natural water to drink, 